What's up guys, it's your boy Darskin, and today we're going to be talking about the best advice I can give you if you are summoning for Zhao, right? Now, this is for the people that are debatably talking about going for maybe two Zhao's instead of getting just one Zhao and stuff like that. I've got to tell y'all this because y'all need to know this. Now, uh, before we get into that, for the people that are only going for one Zhao dupe, I hope y'all get what y'all looking for. If you're only going for one Zhao dupe, that's it, then, you know, good. But for all the people that are out, I see so many people talking about, yeah, bro, I need to get like two Zhao's. I need to get like three Zhao's. Uh, I need to get them Constellation 1. I need to get them Constellation 2, 3, blah, 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 blah. I want to talk to y'all about his Constellations and a better option. So let's go ahead and get into it. So number one. Uh, if you guys don't know, Zhao's first constellation is um, increases Lemniscatic Wind Cycling by one. Now, uh, that's his E ability, that's his dash ability. So instead of you having two charges, you now have three charges of his E, right? Um, his second constellation is when in the, when, basically if he's in the party but he's not on the field, he gets an increased 25% energy recharge. Uh, his third constellation is plus three, obviously, on his E ability. His fourth constellation, when his HP goes below 50%, gain 100% defense bonus, which is really nice. His fifth constellation, plus three on his ultimate. And then his sixth constellation, whenever he's inside his ultimate, if he hits two or more enemies with a plunge attack, it'll immediately give him one charge of his E ability. And for the next one second, he can use his E ability while ignoring its cooldown. I know that's a lot to take in. Rewind it if you need to. Now, let me tell you, his constellations are not that good. Not at all. And the reason why I say that is because um, I was actually talking about this with my stream yesterday, and a lot of people didn't understand. Uh, let me go ahead and pull them up real quick. Boom. Okay. So anyways, um, let's talk about them. So increases Lemniscatic Wind Cycling by one. So, for two charges, it goes to three charges. The reason why this doesn't matter is because, number one, two charges is enough, number one. Number two, when you're in combat, dashing is not your priority, right? So, getting that one, get, getting a third charge doesn't really matter. And it's on a 10-second cooldown, and you got two of them. So, by the time you use two dashes... You should have a third dash up within 10 seconds, right? Like, it, it, and after that, right, it's like, it's like, what else would you be doing that, like, are you just dashing for no reason? Like, two dashes on 10 second cooldowns is perfectly fine. So, getting a third dash off rip is just, like, not really needed. This right here, increased energy recharge by 25% when he's not on the field. Number one, Zhao is the main DPS, you want him on the field. Number two, if he's not on the field, he's already getting less energy recharge, right? If you guys didn't know that, when you're not on the field and you get orbs, you get less energy recharge than if you're on the field. So it's like, it's kind of like, it doesn't make sense, right? They're trying to compensate for him not being on the field by giving him a little bit more energy recharge, but he's supposed to be on the field. I don't know. Um... His, this one's plus three, whatever. I, I'm going to talk about this plus three and this plus three, which doesn't make sense, but I'm going to talk about it. Anyways, when Zhao's HP falls below 50%, he gains 100% defense bonus. This is because his ultimate takes his HP away. So whenever he falls below that threshold, they want him to be tankier. Thing is, you don't want to take damage anyway. And that's why they've implemented so many characters with shields. Zhongli came out. Diona came out. Xinyan came out. And then if you look at his banner, everyone on his banner is a shield character, right? Beto C1 gives her a shield when she ults. Shinyan shield when she presses E. Diona shield when she presses E. So it's like they're already setting that up. So it's like this one is a good one, but it's like, eh, you know, if you have a shield character, this doesn't matter as much. Um, plus three on his ult. And then this right here. Um, his last constellation, even more so, makes his first constellation useless, right? Why do I need three charges if I can just reset my charges and have unlimited cooldown, right? 
Now, why the plus three E and plus three alt make zero sense. So let's say you get them to plus three. You get the first one, you get the second one, you get the third one. This is the thing. His first ability is for his E. His third constellation is for his E. But you don't have the sixth constellation, so his main his main damage source isn't going to be his E, right? His main damage source becomes his E once you can reset it and have unlimited cooldown. So at C, C3... His ultimate is going to be his main damage source off of his uh, auto attacks and plunge attacks and stuff like that, right? Then, when Zhao's HP falls below 50%, blah, 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 this is for his ultimate as well. So, C4 is ultimate, but they don't give you the ultimate plus 3. And they they pretty much did that because they wanted you to go for constellations. And I feel like they, they thought people wouldn't understand that. But it's like, if they switch these two, right? If you got this one first, his constellations will be way better because it's like, all right, let's give his dash plus three. And if you get one more constellation, we're going to make his dash really, really broken. But instead, they give you the dash all the way up here. And then you got to get three more for the dash to be a factor and main damage source. Not to mention this one, this with C6 is useless, but most people won't get C6, so this is fine. This, with the uh, ultimate upgrade, would have been really good. Because now you have three dashes with your ult. Man, I, trust me when I tell you, do not go for constellations. If you want to go for constellations, get you a primordial jade. If you are looking to go for multiple Zhao dupes, get you a primordial jade spear. Get you one. Now, what's the worst case scenario? Um... Worst case scenario is you pull another five-star weapon, which is highly unlikely. Um, second scenario is you pull a five-star sword, the, the Wing Jade Cutter. Now, keep in mind, there are so many units in the game that use swords. You're bound to use a sword eventually, pretty much. Um, Albedo uses a sword. MC literally <laughs> uses a sword, right? Chi-Chi, ka -ching. Who else? Bennett. Gene, there's so many characters that use a sword, and wing like Jade Cutter is just a really good weapon. It gives like 44% crit rate. You can use that on a lot of different characters. Shing Shou, Chu Shou, Kaya, yeah. But like my point is, right? It's better for you to get his best in slot weapon with him than to get multiple dupes. A C0 Zhao with Primordial Jade. Is going to be way, 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 way better than C1, C2, C3 Zhao without Primordial Jade. Trust me when I tell you. So, um, I just want to explain all that, let you guys know all that, so you guys can make a decision. And you guys can do, I mean, at the end of the day, you can do what you want. I'm not your parent. But, if you do want my advice, go for C0 Zhao. And get you Primordial Jade. Now, if you already have Primordial Jade, good, sure. If you, um, you know, if you're only getting one Zhao, sure. But uh, I just had to let you guys know that because I see so many people talking about, I'm going for dupes, I'm going for dupes. I'm only going for one. I'm getting him C1. And that's it. Just because I want the extra dash. Just, just to look cool. I don't know. So, yeah. But anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Be sure to give a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys say in the comment section below. With that being said, I will see you guys next time. Peace.